Hello, welcome to this video. In this lesson, you will learn how to work with closures in JavaScript. So, let's get started. We can say that a closure is basically a function inside another function. In other words, a closure is a function which is created inside another function body, right? But to understand closures, we need first to understand how to work with scopes in JavaScript, right? So let's get a quick look on what it is scopes. So here I have my setup. I have a HTML file linked with a app.js script, right? And in this lesson, I will write all my code in this script here, right? And I have my browser open here. So let's get started. What is scope? So to understand the scope, let's make a practical example. So here in my app.js file, I will create a variable. I will create, I will call this variable of name and I will pass this value here. Now I will create a function, which I will call of say my name. And inside this function, I will make a console.log showing the variable, right? And here, right down below, I will create another console.log showing the variable. Nice. And below this console.log, I will call my say my name function. Now, I will save this file and now let's see what happens here in our in our browser. As you can see here in my console, I have Victor and Victor. I have two outputs. Why? Simple. Because first I make a console.log, my first output, and after that I make a call for my say my name function here, right? So it is my second output here. And in this say my name's body, I have a console.log, right? So as you can see here, I can access my variable name inside a function and outside any function. I can access this variable here in any part of my code that I want to access it, right? And when you create a variable in this way, a variable outside of any function, you create a global variable. It means that this variable here can be accessed in on any function of your code or in any part of your code because this variable here is global, right? Well, now let's see another type of variable. Now I will create a variable inside my say my name function. I will call this variable of last name. in this way. Now I will delete it here and here inside this console.log within my function I will make a console.log on my variable last name, right? Now I will call my say my name function in this way. Let's see what happens. As you can see we get here one output, which is the output of my say my name function, which is my last name, right? Now, let's see what happens when I try to access 
this variable here, last name, outside of this function. Well, I will make a console.log here for this variable, last name. Let's see what happens. As you can see, we get an error here, and called reference error. Last name is not defined. And why? Well, we define this, this variable here inside this function. Why JavaScript say for us that our last name variable is not defined? Well, it's simple. Because when you declare a variable inside a function, only this function here, only the function where you declare the variable can access, can manipulate this variable. It's like you lock this variable inside this function, right? It's like you block this variable inside this function. So, at the moment that I create this, this last name variable here, inside here, the only function, the only part of my code that can access my variable is the function where my variable was declared, right? And when I try to access my, my variable last name here outside of my function where it was declared, I got an error because my outside code, the code outside of my function can't see this variable, right? In other words, it's like when you create a variable inside a function, right? Only this function can view this variable, right? It's simple. And when you create a variable inside a function, what happens is that this variable is declared in a local scope, right? The name, the right name is it, local scope, because this variable here only can be accessed inside this function, local in the function, right? Simple in this way. The same thing happens if I try to access this variable here on other function. Let's see what happens, right? Last name. And I will delete this console.log and I will call my other function. As you can see, we get an error here, right? Because it's the same logic. I can't access a local variable outside of the function where it, where it variable was declared, right? Simple in this way. So now you know what is scope. When you declare a variable outside of any function, you declared this variable on a global scope. It means that this variable here can be accessed for any part of your code, of, of your code, sorry, of on any function of your code, right? And when you declare a variable inside a function, you create a local scope variable, and it means that this variable only can be accessed inside this function, right? So it is scope. Basically, it is simple, right? And now, and now that you already know what is scope, let's see what is closure. Basically, a closure is a local scope function. It means that a closure is a function declared inside another function, right? And here, inside this say my name function, I can create another function, right? Which I will call of say my last name in this way. And here I can make a console.log last name. 
Let's see what happens now. I will call my say my name function in this way here. Nice. And let's see. As you can see, nothing happens because I don't do nothing here. Right? I do nothing here. So here inside my say my name function, I will call say my last name. Well, so here inside say my name function, I declare say my last name function and right down below inside say my name function, I call this function here. Right? So I declare and call in the same function, in the same scope. Let's see what happens now. Don't forget to call the function, right? As you can see, we get, we, we get lima here, which is the output of this inner function here, this closure here. When you declare a function inside another function, you can call it off closure, right? So this output here is from my closure, say my name. And as you can see, when I declare a function, a closure, a function inside another function, I can access all the variables of the mother function. So here I have say my name, which my which is my mother function, and I have say my last name, which is my closure, which is my son function, my daughter function, right? So if I create a variable here, another variable inside my mother function, I can access it inside my daughter, my son function, right? Simple in this way. The same thing for global variables. Here I have my variable name, which is global, and I can access it inside my closure as well. And when I reload, we get three output from my closure here, because I call my closure here inside the say my name function, and after that I call my say my name function here. Now Let's see what happens if I try to access my closure here outside of my function, right? Let's see. Let's see what happens. Say my last name in this way. After I call, I will delete it here. I only will call say my last name and let's see what happens. We get an error here. Say my last name is not defined. Well, why? Simple. It's like local variables, right? When I create a closure, this closure is local inside my main function, right? It's like you lock this, this function here inside this function. It's like when you, you when you declare a closure, right? Only the function where this closure was declared can access, can manipulate this closure. And if I try to access this closure here outside of my function, I get an error. Right? Simple in this way. So that's it. It is closure. In this lesson, you learn first what is a scope and you learn what is closures in JavaScript. Right? So that's it. I see you in the next time. And if you like, please let me know in the comment sections below. And if you want more videos about, about JavaScript in general, please let me know in the comment sections below. So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here we make new videos six days a week. Bye bye.